Welcome to the part two of our course. Uh, we know everything now about uh, private equity, we know what are the business of uh, private equity, we know the reasons why a company could use uh, private equity. Now it's time to enter the world of private equity investor and to discover who are they and in which way do they work. Because uh, coming to the very first lesson, we just simply said private equity investors are financial institutions doing that. But now it's time to discover what are their characteristics and in which way they are regulated. It is not an easy job because the world is, is wide. And then we have to discuss about regulation. It could become very difficult to select one country or to select another one. But in private equity we are lucky because what we have to learn is that all around the world we have evidence of two different formats regulating private equity investments. On one hand, we have the European Union format regulated by the directives of the European Union and on the other hand we have the so-called Anglo-Saxon format which is regulated by the law of US and UK where the private equity was born. When we say these two formats are formats, it means that they are not just simply applied in the European Union and in US and UK, but they are used also in other different countries. For example, if we talk about the European Union format, it is used also in Brazil, in Turkey, in Russia, they took inspiration from the European Union format, on the other hand, when we talk about the Anglo-Saxon format, we have evidence of application in India, in Australia, in Commonwealth countries, yes, we have evidence in all these countries. So that's great, and in a certain sense, it simplifies our job. Let's start with the European Union format. If we want to understand the regulation of a private equity within the European Union, we have to explore the two big directives regulating the entire financial system. Because what is important to understand about Europe is that the ideology in Europe is private equity, is a financial service. And for this reason is regulated by the directive regulating the entire financial system. We are lucky because in Europe we have only two directives regulating the financial system. The banking directive and the financial services directive. The main concept behind the two directives is that the financial system has to be organized with a right balance of efficiency and stability and the other fundamental rule is that whatever kind of financial institutions to start operating the financial system has to receive an approval by local supervisor or by the European Central Bank in the case of banks. Financial institutions, after the approval, can sell their service and they are supervised again by local supervisors like Bank of Italy, Bank de France, Bundesbank or European Central Bank in case of banks. If we talk about a private equity, three different entities can be a private equity investor. We have time to investigate them, but it's quite important to have in mind that only three entities can invest in private equity or can act as a private equity investor. The three entities are banks, as banks are universal and they can deliver what kind of service in Europe, close and fund that are perfectly designed to be a private equity investor and last investment firms. So three different legal entities. If we turn the page and if we start exploring the Anglo-Saxon format, that means US and UK, we discover that fundamentals are completely different. Uh, in the US and the UK case, private equity is not a financial service, but it's an entrepreneurial activity, like managing whatever kind of company. It doesn't mean that there is a, a, not an involvement of the financial system, but I simply mean private equity is an entrepreneurial activity. That means if we wanted to understand how does it work a private equity, 
We have to combine together the common law we have in US and UK, ad hoc fiscal rules and special laws devoted to regulate the private equity system. The other aspect that has to be clarified is that in the Anglo-Saxon format, we do not have the supervision of the supervisor as it happens in the European Union. Two different formats as quite relevant to understand the functioning of private equity system all around the world. For a local player, the evidence of two formats is not so important. If you are an Italian private equity investor, a French private equity investor, a German private equity investor, and you act at local level, you have to apply the European Union format as well if you are a US private equity investor and you want to invest in US. On the contrary, if you are a global player and you operate in whatever country of the world, to have two different formats is quite important because in some cases you could prefer to use a European Union format and in other cases you could prefer to use a US and UK format. So the knowledge of legal entity is not just simply a legal matter, but it becomes really a business matter of private equity investment.